Food for Life get-togethers are activities that bring people together through good food. We help people of all ages and backgrounds right across the UK to organise growing, cooking and sharing food activities that bring their communities closer. Anyone can organise or come along to a get-together and we've been amazed at what people have been up to this summer. Take a look at some of it. Hi, I'm Bruce Newlands, uh, like to the Shore Street Gardens and I'd just like to say how fantastic the get-togethers have been. They've been an opportunity for us to meet new people, um, to learn new things from people that knew stuff about how to grow veg and we hope very shortly to be cooking in the garden as well uh, and share the produce that we've been, we've been producing. Oh, look at that one! Oh wow! Hi there, my name is Vicky Hemming. I'm part of the Big Feed and we are lucky enough to have had some funding from Food for Life uh, as part of the Get Togethers project. What we're about to do, which is very exciting and our first step of um, the Get Togethers, is to provide some recipe kits to hand out. Um, and this will stimulate further conversations and build connections with the community. The Food for Life programme was a very valuable programme this year and we were able to redirect funds towards growing lots of different crops, different types of vegetables from beetroot, carrots, potatoes and cabbage and early on we had some strawberries and salad crops. This proved very invaluable to the community. We, uh, cooked the meals and brought them out to people who were in lockdown, people who were isolated and um, it was a great way to, to bring a bit of normality to their lives. Hi, my name's Lisa and I work for Social Farms and Gardens. We're a UK-wide charity that support communities to grow, farm and garden together. Normally, we'd be out and about with community groups on site, but when the coronavirus lockdown restrictions were imposed, we realised we had to change the way we were working. So I reached out to Elisa, because um, I heard about this amazing project she's doing, um, called Growing Hope, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to really benefit some of the people I work with. I've got quite a few young people who've got a real interest in growing their own things, with lovely gardening, um, or even to try something new. So um, yeah, I reached out and she said, oh, we've got 15 kits we can to meet you. And that made me really excited. Um, so Amy's kind of dropped off these kits to us and I'm going to look at distributing them because we don't just have young people in Cardiff. We have them all over um, sort of like in valleys and in Newport. So particularly those who might be rurally isolated, these are really going to help them focus on something um, more exciting. Um, I really enjoy putting together the packs because at home we're growing things and I know how much joy it can bring to people and knowing when I pack each of those the boxes with the seeds and the compost that someone will be um, getting that joy seeing things grow while they're in lockdown um, is really why I did this um, so yeah I really enjoyed volunteering for the project. Uh, so Julie can you tell me where those parcels will be going out to for me? We'll be distributing them across the city to people who are shielded and isolated um, it's a great venture. I'm glad we're able to help you with this project okay. and hopefully it'll bring a little bit of something to the people's lives who are currently unable to go out and enjoy the okay. greenery in the open. Growing, cooking and eating good food is great for our health and well-being and the planet. Connecting through food is one of the oldest and best ways of learning from each other and getting to know one another. No matter what our age or background, we understand each other better when we grow, cook and eat together. Do you enjoy your school meals? Do I enjoy it? That's an understatement. Absolutely loving it. And here, scoffing away. Have you had yours? Yeah. Oh good. I think it's always very nice, especially type of vegetables. Hello, I'm Martin, and uh, this is my uh, community seed box through Barefoot Kitchen on this uh, glorious uh, day. So, uh, basically, plants for free, uh, seeds for free, lots of earwigs in there as well if you're watching the those for free, and uh, we'll have a side which is blown up on the floor, which is to take um, whatever you uh, need and to donate and leave for others if you can. And it's been very successful. Lots of nice chats, um, lots of people coming and asking me about the plants that are there and uh, a few donations as well, so it's uh, going really well. 
We have been coming ever since the, the lockdown. We've been, we had to walk past one day and my son wanted to come and have a look, see what there was growing and we just got very, very excited. Uh, Great. He likes to come and see what's growing and, and pick chives and eat them. Fabulous. And a radish. Oh. And a radish. <laughs> it's amazing what you can find at this garden. It's amazing because he wouldn't do all this at home. So many people came together because of us. They got to know each other. They got, started helping each other and all started with this project. Thank you for watching. We hope you feel as inspired as we do from all these creative community activities that are happening. We hope you'll join us and have your own Food for Life get together.